That was another sort of life-changing event that happened that I'd like to share with you briefly. I mentioned to you about the event with USC and UCLA and that sort of being the, the catapult experience that took me to the West Coast. Well, there was another turning point in my life. And that was in 1979 when I contracted a staph infection that almost took my life. After a month in the hospital, I was recuperating and I was watching television. And there was this evangelist named Robert Schuller who said that Jesus Christ had died for my sins. I started weeping uncontrollably. I'd heard that before because as a family, we went to church every Sunday. But at that time, I didn't understand it. And at that moment, I can tell you that my life changed forever. Something happened on the inside of me. I began to live as a follower and a believer in Jesus Christ. And you know, you may be wondering, why is he bringing this up? Doing a Hall of Fame event. And I can tell you how this relates to football. Because what it meant was that during training camp, where there, when there were 300-pound linemen that, you know, got in scuffles, I would be one of the ones that got in there to try to break it up. And the coaches would, you know, say, get out of there because you're going to get hurt. Well, I wasn't afraid to be a peacemaker. When players were injured and when the rookies were scared about their future, I prayed with them and encouraged them to do their best because I felt that God had a plan for them, whether with that team or without that team. I used to read my Bible on a plane and I'd pass out Christian tracts so that others could know that the mistakes that they had made in their lives had already been paid for and were forgiven by God's Son, Jesus Christ. As a result, in 1993, when I was with the Los Angeles Raiders, the starting left guard, whose name was Steve Wisniewski, came up to me in the heat of training camp, and he asked me to baptize him. Steve recognized that I was trying to model a Christ-like life, as he was. Yet, he asked me, to baptize him. I was really humbled by this request. And one day, Steve wanted to invite some of the teammates to witness this baptism, and so there were 25 guys that ended up showing up at the Whirlpool in training camp, and 17 of those guys made a confession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I've had many exciting exploits and experiences on the football field. Tremendous thrilling games coming back from behind. But I gotta stand before you here and say honestly that nothing as it relates to football compares to that in my life. In closing, you know, I've been asked how I would like to be remembered in my NFL career. You know, I just like for people to say that I was a guy that they could, they could count on. And uh, I was a guy who considered it an absolute privilege to have played in the National Football League for 17 years. I would like people to say that Vince Edmonds came to work every day and gave his all. And so, you know, I don't miss the game. I have zero regrets because I did give it my all. Tonight, I am humbled to be inducted into the Guilford County Hall of Fame. I'm joined by my lovely wife, Grace, who has been one of my biggest supporters. She gave me a sense of peace when I played the game. 
because she prayed to God that I would not get hurt. And I didn't. And she's always been there for me. I love you, Grace. I'd also like to recognize my, uh, my four beautiful, talented, amazingly humble, gracious kids. Starting with Chloe, Rebecca, over against the wall. Say hello, Chloe. Vincent Jordan, Tim in the back. Noah Justin and Crystal Genoa. I love you guys. Thank you, Dad, for being there, man. 